On today's episode, I'm going to give you a crash course in Hudson Electronics from the UK. Let's roll the intro. About 15 years ago in North England, a guy named Michael Hudson was in a band. And much like me, he loved pedals, but then he became obsessed with pedals, started trying to build some, built some tone benders, built some fuzz faces, and then he created his own unique circuits. That was about 10 years ago, and now Hudson Electronics is a very well-known pedal company and one of my favorites. One of the very first things that drew me to him and his company were the beautiful aesthetics of the pedals and how unique they seemed in the pedal market. The first of four Hudson pedals that I want to talk to you today about is the Broadcast. This is his most popular pedal, it's what started it all, and it's the first pedal that I ever saw or played of his. Now, when it came out, people immediately asked, how does it compare to the Colorbox? Forums, Instagram, Facebook, everywhere. And it's really cool because here I am, an American, basing my preamp distortion pedal off of a British Neve sound. And here he is, a British guy, basing his off of an American sound. Let's do a jam. Let's make it like Jay-Z meets Limp Bizkit meets Rage Against the Machine. Let's put this as a dirty, direct-in, grinding distortion sound. And on this and every other riff, I'm gonna have the CE2W Wazacraft chorus at my feet. I'm also gonna have a Panther Cub for delay settings. And Zach on the bass, he's gonna have the 24 volt version of the broadcast, which is running at more high headroom, constantly turning your nine volts into 24, and it's awesome for bass. So we're just gonna leave it on every song. Here we go. Next up is the Sidecar Germanium Clipping Overdrive. This is an incredibly unique overdrive pedal for this day and age, really forever. He has taken the classic Tube Screamer circuit that many of us know and love, and he has integrated in a British console two-band EQ. So with the broadcast using the American console kind of sound, he didn't do that here. He stayed home with the British sound and he went with a Neve sidecar uh, treble and bass control. Put it in a Tube Screamer and that's really wild. You have germanium clipping in the diode clipping section. It's super unique. I love it. Low to medium gain. It has this very interesting clipping sound and almost like this nice artifact thing that goes on in the harmonics. It's fantastic. And just look at it. Look at how good this pedal looks.
last but not least is the broadcast dual pedal. So it's essentially the single pedal. You see this big toggle switch that we have here. See my pinky trying to reach it? It is now a foot switch. So you have a dual channel solution to switch between the low gain and the high gain setting of the original broadcast. Inside are some trim pots where you can fine tune and adjust things, but you have the low cut, the gain trim, and then you have a level for each foot switch. It's fantastic. So I'm gonna play a part that's kind of low gain gritty and then smash on that extra stage, that extra setting for a crazy solo. And you're gonna like it, I think. I like it, so I guess if I like it, I don't care if you like it. Um, that got a little crazy. It was a lot of fun. Um, I just want to say that all these pedals also run at 24 volts. You can put 9, 12, 18, 24. We're only running them at 9. I can't even imagine what would have just happened at 24. But try it and let us know. Let's go to record time. This week's record time is brought to you by 2004's The Science of Things by Bush. Now, Bush is a polarizing band. A lot of people don't like them, but I think an equal amount of people do. And then these older albums, a lot of people don't even know they exist. Now, Bush is known for the album 16 Stone and Razorblade Suitcase, huge hits like in the 90s, like Glycerine, Machine Head, Little Things Come Down. It's kind of endless there for a while. And then they kind of fell out of popularity. And there's some records like this that were released and these happen to be my favorites. It's kind of strange because Bush in a lot of ways becomes a little more ambient and a little more experimental in some of my favorite ways. Tracks like 40 Miles From The Sun and Letting The Cable Sleep are my favorite Bush songs and they're British and Hudson's British. That's the connect here. I just want you to listen to this album 
tell me what you think in the comments and then maybe suggest an album by a band that people don't realize they kept going or had other work. You know, there's a lot of that out there. So check it out, let me know what you think and then make some suggestions. Thanks so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. His pedals are phenomenal. Go buy them, support what he's doing. He's a really creative and important builder in the pedal community right now. Uh, subscribe to the channel, hit like if you liked it and click the bell icon to get notifications of future episodes. Remember there is djhsshow.com. You can buy shirts and things like that. And then also you can become a patron of the show and help us with some of the history work that we're doing. There's a link in the description. You can go check that out you get an extra monthly video where I dive deep into some subject that I'm researching. You also can get discounts and extra giveaways, all kinds of fun stuff. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.